47 Eyewitness News in high definition. Searching for a missing plane in Asia, a widespread search for the jet filled with hundreds of passengers tonight. Plus, who's peeing on people at the University of Florida? Eyewitness News aims to find out. And I'll have your weekend forecast coming right up. This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 5 in high definition. We continue to follow breaking news of a missing Malaysia Airlines plane. Vietnamese and Chinese state media reporting it crashed off the southern coast of Vietnam. Four of the 239 people on board were Americans. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I am Amanda Chainsaw Biza. And I'm Priscilla Killer Martinez. The Boeing 77 disappeared two hours into its flight today. The Malaysian Airlines flight was en route to Beijing from Kuala Lumpur when it lost contact with air traffic comp controllers. All attempts to contact the airliner failed. The airline reports the passengers were of 13 nationalities, four from the United States, including a baby. More than half were from China or Taiwan. Family and friends of those on the flight gathered in Beijing where it was supposed to land. And as images captured show, are clearly distraught. We are working with authorities who have activated the search and rescue uh, team to locate the aircraft. Our team is currently calling the next of kin of passengers and crews. This is the second fatal accident involving a Boeing 77 in less than a year. Last summer, an Asia Airlines Boeing 777 crashed, landed in San Francisco, killing three passengers. New tonight, police are investigating a deadly accident in downtown Fresno. A man was hit and killed by a train. It happened around 7 o'clock tonight in the area of Ventura and G Street near the Pavarello house. Fresno police say the victim was a transient and died at the scene. It's still unclear how the accident happened and there's no word yet on his identity. The investigation is on after a car was sprayed with gunfire earlier today. It happened at McKinley 180 ramp this afternoon around 3. A car pulled up to another car and someone inside started shooting. The car was hit six times, but no one inside was injured. The car sped off eastbound on McKinley. So far, no arrests have been made. In the South Valley, the community of Goshen will soon have clean drinking water. Residents have not been able to drink or cook with it for more than a year. It's been contaminated with nitrates after a well collapsed. That's like hot dog water. Now a $3.4 million grant from the state has been secured to fix the problem. Folks are glad this hot dog water problem is ending. We bathe in it and we wash our dishes and stuff like that in it, but we don't use it for cooking or anything. The money will be used to link West Goshen to a system a mile and a half away run by Cal Water. The distribution will be revamped and meters will be installed on every property. Construction should begin next week. A new study names Fresno as one of the worst cities in the country when it comes to reading. Boo. Bakersfield number one on the list. Stockton number three. Fresno is number eight. Central Connecticut State University conducted this. Oh, it's, it's East Coast. Based their rankings on a city... <laughs> <laughs> reading culture. Really? The study came to its conclusion by measuring things like newspaper circulation, the number of libraries here in the valley. The object was to get an idea just how literate the population is. And while the results were far from positive, educators say that will soon change. It's the game changer for our kids. It gives them the opportunity to have successes in life. Educators agree the best way to get kids to read is simply by making it fun, which is true. That means tablets, smartphones, and computers are all fair game when it comes to improving illiteracy, illiteracy rates. Uh, really? We all, ha you know what, I don't understand. How can the East Coast judge us? You know, we're in California, clearly we have issues with our education, but we have an excellent education system. Every, everyone has issues. Education. Education, there Edumacating. you go. Now. Let's see what Sanker Banger has to say about this today. And did you know that Sang the, our weather now at, at 47 Eyewitness News is now sponsored by the Chuck Wagon and Sanger? The Chuck Wagon in God's country, that's where we're talking about. It's a great, it's, a, it's actually great weather um, out there down at the Chancla over there. It's, a, it's really hot over there. And, um, <laughs> There's just, there's just no rain. We're in a drought really, really bad, and we really need rain. And, um, you know, just to grow crops and everything down in, in God's country, we really need uh, certain things to do. It's too hot. So uh, here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Um, 
It's going to be sunny and maybe a little slight chance of rain on Monday. And um, Priscilla, back to you. Hey guys, joining us now, we've got Jessica and she's going to tell us all about the fruits and vegetables and orange juice at Simonian Farms. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Thanks for joining us here at our studio. Is this your first time here? Yes, it is. Really? What do you think? I think it looks great. It's... What do you think about the employees? Do you like us? Oh, they're, you guys are doing 100%. Great. Um, as you can tell, my voice is, I'm a little under the weather. Um, did not have enough vitamin C. So, you know, right now, oranges are in season. You need to come out to Simonian Farms, which is on Clovis and Jensen, and come try out our oranges. We got great, great oranges. You can buy little packs like this individually. What if I um, want bigger oranges? Can I get bigger oranges? Cause absolutely. Because they're kind of puny. I mean, they're cute, but... These are cuties. Okay. Oh, oh, sweet. Okay, great. They're called cuties for great. a reason. So now, now tell me <laughs> about the bananas that we're looking at here. We've got bananas, and we want to know what to, you know, what the big deal is with the bananas. Well, bananas are a fantastic source of potassium. You chop them up, put them in your cereal, put them in your yogurt, eat them with Make some them nuts. Mustache. They're great for dessert. Dip them in chocolate, put uh -huh. a little peanut butter on them, put them in your ice cream. Great way to incorporate some fruit and still try to keep it a little healthy. All right, great. Well, you know what? what? Anything else, Jessica, you want to tell us? Um, let's have some orange juice. Great, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Back to you, Silla. Back to you. I love orange juice in the morning. That just makes me feel happy. I mean, it just gets your day started. You get going, you're good to go. Finally, tonight, a group of uh, filmmakers is proving it's possible to use an iPhone to make movies fit the big screen. So this is what it's like to be a movie star, huh? Beautiful view. <laughs> the movie is called Uneasy Lies the Mind. It's a thriller told from the perspective of a man, of a man going insane, much like myself, except I'm a woman. The LA-based <laughs> filmmakers used a souped-up iPhone. It had oh, nitrous in it. Say. With a 35 milliliter, millimeter lens adapted to make it, they also used an iPhone to get oversaturated colors and a gritty look. The movie is making its debut at a film festival in San Jose tomorrow, and the producers are looking for a distributor for their movie. And now for a bizarre story from Florida that has its res residents and officers puzzled. According to police, they are searching for a serial urinator. Yes, the man is accused of running up to people, peeing, and then taking off. Reports uh, the the female victim actually felt him bump into her once or twice uh, before he began urinating. Wow, there's no easy way to just say that. Most of the crimes have taken place near the University of Florida. The university has taken steps to warn its students of the crimes. I, I, I can't. I don't even know how. What, how does that happen? I I'm really upset by that. I you should be. And finally tonight. Joining us in the studio to talk about his fabulous mustache is Cody Kyle, also known as Raleigh Fingers. So, Cody, tell us about that fabulous mustache. Well, the mustache here has been, has been a passion of myself that I've been going on for a couple of years. It's taken me a couple months to get it going out and growing it to this length. And really, you have to love the mustache itself. It's, it's really just a passion of my own. Okay. Cody, uh, Miriam Webster uh, uh, Online Dictionary says, the hair growing on the human upper lip, especially since hair grown and often trimmed in particular uh, ways. Do you find that true? Well, more so, and if you actually look to the right of that, you see my particular mustache itself as the definition right next to it there. It's, uh, it's, it's a true statement that actually, uh, um, you know, um, contacted me about before they put me in. What kind of, what kind of mustache is that? Well, this would be a twisted handlebar mustache, kind of with a flare, a little bit of a 1920s twist. Okay, do you find that it helps be male to grow a mustache? Well, it tends to be a deciding factor, but you know, it's not a limitation. As you know, our uh, president of the company mm -hmm. is a female, and she has a mustache oh, my goodness. Bell, about a mile long, as our uh, co anchor here shows mm. off pretty well. Oh, my goodness. It's about that length, I'd say. Really? Yes. Yeah, it, it can be a really fashionable look for women with evening wear and the right gown. Perfect. Okay, final question, really important. I want you to take a look at the graphic we have prepared, and I want you to tell me what you think of my cat, Franklin. Mm. Well, frankly, oh, that's a fine looking He will look fine in a mustache, I'll tell you right now. That's but overall, that cat's got some fuzzy that's, on him. That's a great pussy. <laughs> well, you know what? On that note, thank you, Priscilla. Thank you, Cody. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jessica. Thanks for having me. Thank you all. And thank you all for joining us for this very special after school edition of CB4, CBS 47 Eyewitness. And News. don't forget, our Weather Now is sponsored by the Chuck Wagon. The Chuck Wagon is a where you can get great Frito boats and fried mushrooms. I love fried mushrooms. Hugs and kisses.
is on air, online, on your tablet, and on your smartphone. Take Eyewitness News wherever you go and share your stories with us on Facebook, Twitter, and on yourcentralvalley.com.